Hello. Welcome back to Dallas, Texas. My name is Prescott King. I'm visited here with Drew Hemrick and Reeves White. And we are so happy to be bringing you this rivalry game brought to you by Game on Sports Network and Varsity Club Lacrosse. We're here in Dallas, Texas. Beautiful night for some lacrosse, isn't it, Prescott? <laughs> oh, my God. Couldn't say it better myself. This is just what a day that we have today. And to what watch an exciting rivalry coming up. Oh, yeah, the championship rematch of the LSA Conference. Number three in the nation, the Texas Longhorns out of Austin, Texas. Unranked SMU dropped a few games early. They are 6-3. and three. Texas is undefeated. I think they're just coming off of a road trip where they stomped on Oregon. SMU, uh, similar matchup, lost to Oregon on their road trip, beat Oregon State, and beat Texas State most recently in a stomp down. But, uh, you know, on paper, obviously three seed versus uh, unranked. It's a little uneven, but rivalry game. I think we're going to see a good matchup tonight. What do you guys think? I mean, it's March. Anything can happen, right? Oh, that's Tell right. We got, it. we got some games yeah. on yeah. right now, I think. Yeah, we do have two. Who's playing right now? Let's see. Arizona. Arizona. There's two. Oh, the Texas Rangers opening day yeah. going on. There's a lot on. going on in Dallas. We've There's a lot going on. I know Game on Sports Network is also broadcasting a high school rivalry, one of the biggest in Dallas, Texas. Highland Park versus Jesuit. I don't know when faceoff is, but that is always a game to go to. One of the biggest rivalries in Texas lacrosse. One of the biggest rivalries in MCLA lacrosse here. And then you know, tomorrow Highland Park plays Torrey Pines. Oh, really? And they're ranked 17 in the nation right now. So that'll be go. another good one. A little bit about Drew, if you haven't met her before. She's from Torrey Pines. San Diego. So. We San Diego. Love it. Not Torrey Pines. No, San Diego. God, I always screw that up. Whatever. Same difference. Are you going to any of the basketball games in Dallas? No, I'm not. I don't have that type of new law on me nowadays. But I'm actually going to the Duke game tomorrow. That is awesome. I'm jealous. It's, All right. It got lucky. My yeah. friend's boyfriend's on the Bobby way. Springer with the face-off Bobby win. Bobby Springer. Well, he's going to win it. All day. Oh, shot low. Eaten up by the keep. Don't want to let, don't want to let the goalies get hot early. Uh, you know that's always a uh, a recipe for disaster if you're SMU. Got to pick good shots early. Texas clears the ball. He's getting ridden here, and they clear it easily. We're gonna see Texas in their first offensive set, just moving the ball around. Daniel Steckler's standing in my way, so I can't see anything. Shout out Daniel Steckler, recent SMU graduate, played on the lacrosse team with us. Carried the defense. Carried. One of the best team middies in the nation. Is this? This is Texas. Okay, cool. Number 19. Sorry, just got the roster. Dodge, shot, oh. high bouncer goes. Texas still on the board first. Maury Stein. He's a top scorer for UT, so... They should definitely lock on that defense there. But, Seems uh, like he takes a lot of his shots pretty far out. Did you watch film before this, Drew? Totally. <laughs> you know me, Prescott. <laughs> but uh, so 1-0, UT. See if Springer can get a win here and see a, you know the first SMU possession. I think they went a little quick there on the first time. Oh, we're going to get an infraction. SMU. Going SMU ball. Titus McGowan picks up the ball, the Dallas native. Can you go to high school with him, Reeves? I did go to high school with him. Tell us a little bit about Titus. Give us a little, you know, background Titus, on Titus, as a lacrosse player, he started off as a strongly right-handed player, and he, throughout his years at SMU, he's developed his left hand, and now he's a universal left-right shooter on the run. He's very quick. Dangerous from anywhere. He'll score some goals. Be we'll beat you with his feet. Winners going for Mex. Oh, a little sloppy with the ball. Staying a little bit careless here early. Poor shot and then throw the ball away. Texas is a team that will take advantage of that. But they're going to start on a clear here. Number four is Parker Ailes with the ball. He's going to clear it himself. Looks to the middle, dumps it. Ball's on the ground. Pretty sloppy Texas transition by Te Oh, recovered. And they got the ball. They are going to settle here. Oh, still throwing the ball around. 
Their passing's a little sloppy. If SMU could lock on, they have a good chance. Yeah, force some turnovers here, yeah. get on their hands early. It's early, they're getting their sticks warm. Let's do a little background here on the coaches. We have a ex-professional lacrosse player is the UT coach, uh, Kyle Hartzell. He was the Plano West coach for a little bit, then decided to take a trek down to Austin and took over the men's team at UT. Uh, on the Mustang side, we have Eric Skeen, uh, second year in the role, you know, took over for a legend in Jason Gilday, and he's been doing a great job since taking over. Uh, coach Skeen has a newborn child. Newborn child. That's great to hear. You know, props to him on getting it done. Nice spacing, Longhorns. Shot oh. here. Low oh, Declan save. with the save. Declan, big save. Great save, Declan. So a little fun fact about number 25 on the Longhorns. He actually did his undergrad at Michigan and played it all four. So they have a pretty solid... That is Leader on offense <laughs> over there. Bill Playtech, the super, the super senior, yeah, is going to clear the ball on his own. Gets it in. That's Whoa. a push. And flag down. SMU looking to get their first man up opportunity of the day. And uh, hopefully they can capitalize. Or we'll see if they capitalize it. We're yeah. not being biased here today. Uh, Jake, We're an unbiased, loving of all. We're going zone. in on the X Factor for UT. Jacob Jackson, just mentioned by Drew, played four years at Michigan. Michigan, if you didn't know, just won the Big Ten championship last year. So he's uh, coming off he, yeah. some pretty good competition. Did he go to Jesuit? He did go to Jesuit. I remember that guy. Strong lefty. You know, he can rip it. But here we go. SMU's got the ball. Moving the ball around. First big opportunity of the game. And that's really not the shot that you're going to want to want. We need to be a little more patient. Get some more touches on the ball. Move Just the defense around a little exactly. more. Exactly. Can't settle for that deep of a shot. Didn't get the defense rotating enough on the man up. But uh, Texas is going to want to take it. I think SMU just wants to take the lead advantage. in this game so badly. They're just. Yeah, they're, you know, obviously big game jitters, uh, you know, play a part. Uh, they're playing against the number three team in the nation and a rival. So they're wanting to, you know, go pedal to the metal from the jump. And uh, it's forcing them into some, you know, tough mistakes okay. here. But Chill, foul. good take to the cage from UT. <laughs> almost had his head taken off. But here, UT is going from X. Beats a man. No slide. Stick save. Number Love seven, it. Sterling Hup with the shot, but Declan is there to stop him. If Declan's on, you know, that's a game changer always. We're so lucky oh. to have Declan. Oh. That ball's going out of bounds. Texas takeover. <clears throat> MCLA lacrosse for you folks. Back and forth. Titus getting back for that ride. UT's just going to move the ball around here. The only, the one, you know, strong possession they had, they scored off of, and I think they're trying to get yeah. back into that tempo. They're patient with their opportunities, not forcing. 55 is Hugh Brown. Hugh Brown looking from top. It's a deep shot. Mm -hmm. Save Declan. Definitely. You know, he's got that 10 times out of 10. And here's the clear. Clears have been right. tough for SMU this year. Lincoln Dodd's going to look to solo oh, clear he's here. This is tough. Okay, he's a tank. Going. He's an athlete, but ball's taken away. Staying on the ground. SMU still hasn't made possession. Clock's running. And here they go. We just need to get over the restraining line. Texas really All pushing right. out right. on their Let's defense here. Down, Being very aggressive on these rides. It's something that obviously... They saw in the scouting report SMU's been fairly lackluster on the on the clears this year, so they're trying to take advantage of that. But uh, SMU here going to want to get a big long Alexander possession. Alexander Lawshirt driving in, seeing not a good idea, pulling it out. Want a long possession, give their defense a rest, and just move around and get a good look here. They haven't really. Riley Schmidt handles the ball very nicely. Looping it around. Oh. 
shot high. Jack Winters is going to take it over from X. Jack Winters, you know, great attackman. Shot. Oh, scored. wow. Winters, you know, leading point scorer on SMU. He decided to take it himself. The Winter Soldier. Great dodge from X. Beat his guy. Shot low. Jack the Winter Soldier winners. <laughs> <laughs> Love it. And uh, right, we're tied up. Tied up. Looks like the Uno Mustangs Uno. have James Celestino on the wing now as their LSM. Today must be, you know, fan appreciation night. We got a lot of young laxers in the crowd. You know, everyone's thinking, oh, D1 lacrosse that, D1 lacrosse this. I am more interested in the LS. <laughs> LS <laughs> How's the my Prescott? MCLA. It's so exciting to there see you go. smaller schools be so supportive of their teams. It's important, you know? Yeah. Club lacrosse is lacrosse, too. And it's nice to see all these fans know that SMU can hang with such a powerhouse school like Texas. Yeah, much smaller school, a lot less uh, people enrolled. There's Jacob Jackson. Just as good. Ball. Oh, Jacob Jackson. Oh, great check. Check. Ball down. SMU's going the other way. Fairly even game early. Each Great team's had by Max one Joser. good possession on offense, and they've scored from both of them. So, Joser with the ball. Ooh, just clearing. hold it onto it. Keep running. He's Trust not. your feet. Oh, oh there goes great. the stick. Great. Detwigged him. Oh, balls oh. down. Now Texas taking over. Again with the ride, yeah. all over him. They got to move the ball a little faster, or to just trust their feet and move it. Texas going to slow it down, get a possession here. Reeves, as a, you know, great two-way midi, you see Phil Playtech out there wearing your number. What do you, what do you, what's going through your head? He's living up to it, and I love it. The way he hustles on ground balls, the way he clears the ball without getting scared. He'll run it up the field without moving it. Love to see that. Putting his head down and running. Man. The 23, legendary number at SMU. But uh, back to it, we got uh, Tucker George going down the alley, moving it to X. Skip pass up top. He's going to go on the shorty, play tech, see what he can do. Wants him to force him down the alley, lets him get over the top. Philip Platt got a little piece of that shot on the defense. And defense I can't see Defense is looking anything. pretty solid for the Stings. Defense is looking good right now. They've stepped up. Since that first goal, going to force him down the alley, roll back, passes up. They're looking to go in the shorties. Can't let him get in the middle. Oh, pipe save. Love to see it. That's going to reset Texas the shot attacking clock. attacking those loops, balls, though. Titus and the SMU shorties, they want to force him down the alley. Don't let him get to the middle. You know, goalie can take away the angle if you're dodging down the alley. Behind with high a Dean shot. shot. Little high. Texas with the repossession behind. <clears throat> Sterling Hup driving in. Forced forced down. He was forced down. <laughs> forced with the Porsche pass. Down the alley shot. Near side. That's going backwards. Three shots for Texas, but they're just behind the cage all over it. Texas dodging from X. Six on hands there. There's a skip pass wide oh, open. Oh, Slept Jackson a little bit too much. A beautiful shot goal. goal. Wow. Two five. That's Jacob Jackson. Someone that you do not want to leave open on a step down. And that's a right-handed goal. Too little easy of a shot for him. Low to low rip. Jacob Jackson playing attack. A lifelong midi, but you know, when you play four years at D1, I guess you show up to UT and you go, I don't want to run anymore. I want to play attack. He's right? earned it. He's earned it. I guess that's what happens if you win a Big Ten championship. You don't have to play MIDI for the club lacrosse team. This is an important face-off for Bobby Springer and the Stings right now. Bobby Springer, All-American Fogo. He's going to hustle for this one. Oh, 
Tough one. Luke Melcher with the faceoff. Looking for a teammate. Checks out and sees Wes Gilbert. Going low. Nice Shot save. saved. All the way Rebound. In. The big Declan. difference in the game so far is the middle of the field. You know, Texas is all over with their rides, forcing mistakes. Thank you to the member of the crowd that just handed us the SMU roster. It is in font 0.5, <laughs> but thank you. SMU dodging from X, rolling back. He wants, falls on the ground. Still on the ground, fighting nice for it. Nice ground ball. Triple team, ball down. Dodd Lincoln, Lincoln up with that Dodd. ground ball. Needs to run away. Someone needs to show him some help here. Sees the Moves ball. it cross Intercepted. crease. Nice snag. And we're going to have a Are getting a little flag upset. down. I don't see a flag. Oh, there is a flag at midfield. Stangs are going to get their second man up opportunity. Can they capitalize? Take a little bit more care of the ball this time. Look for a high quality shot. Man up team is number nine, Dante Douglas. Will Laughlin is number four. Titus McGowan, two four. Jack Winters, 14. 20 is Cole Clinton. And 33 Will is Laughlin the captain, Wesley Mahoney. Got to get the defense rotating around. Yeah, can we get the reset of the shot clock, por favor? Thank you, sir. And we're going to start over again. SMU wants to get the UT defense moving around a little bit more. Look for a skip down. Oh, there it is. Through sticks. Yeah, good idea. Good defense from Texas. Sticks in lanes. Oh, what's the call here? We're going SMU ball. SMU ball. Wesley, the ball. Take nice. it down. Winner's, Winners. goal. A little Jack the Winter Soldier. Jack Winners. Winters. San Diego. Go. Native. San Santa Fe Christian High School. San Diego. Go. Jack Team. Winters. Great goal. A little flare from behind at X. Defense got caught lacking. Dump him down. Great goal. look from the top from Will Laughlin. Really quarterbacking that offense. Tie ball game. 2-2. Two -two. What's up, dudes? How you doing? Gosh, you guys are so popular. Dallas, I'm with know. the two most popular guys right now. You might no, be. I'm blushing. <laughs> Bobby Springer. Dallas Kings. Beaten. He wanted that. We got a fast break here. Is he going to cage? No. Wesley Malinomi from Arizona on Texas with two faceoffs right now. Giving our Bobby Springer a run. Run for his money. You know, it's always good when you can see two, you know, great Fogos going at it all game. Texas moving the ball around slowly. And this might be the biggest crowd we've seen at Crumb yeah, Family would, Stadium this year. It gets a lot more than our games does, doesn't it? <laughs> I don't know. I've never been to one. Oh, thank you, Prescott, for the support. <laughs> Whoa. So I, I do support. I donated on Giving Day. Wow. wow. Is that why we got some new uniforms? Exactly. You're welcome. Thank you. Dodging. Oh, pass a little bit high. Great defense. Got half a minute on the shot clock here. Defense extended. Oh, that's a tough check. Now we're out of shot. Save. Goes down. The throat guard. Declan. Declan's on fire so far. That will be the X factor of the game. Such a difference having such a solid goalie. Growing up on the East Coast, I bet he's seen a lot of it, though. Oh, yeah. So. New Jersey, Del Barton native. Nice little move. Man behind. Lucas oh. Swoski, moving and grooving. Also from oh, New Jersey. Oh, look at this guy go. Mountain Lakes. Oh, uh, got to get that oh, GB. SMU. Move it. Jack Winters, wow. recovery. One of the ugliest clears I've ever seen, but it but worked. it made it. It made it. <laughs> it worked. Will Laughlin 
giving everybody some time to get in shape. And calm down. Moving it to X. Wants to make something here. He's got the shorty. He wants to go. Forced it. Ambitious. Will has such a good eye for those quick passes. They he just, does. Texas is all over him, though. Pass. Little high. That one's going out of bounds. Texas's goalie, number five, Rowdy Brown, which is a sick name. Rowdy Brown, very lacrosse name. Um, has a very deep pocket in his stick. And there's a turnover. Fast break. Save! Declan. Oh, Declan he that, one. that was shot by Sterling Hupp. All right, Brett Slanch taking it up. There we go. SMU finally gets a From good From Palm clear Beach, here. Florida. I Must be to, nice to be there right yeah, now. Yeah, I want to go to Palm Beach. SMU, this has been a very back and forth the last couple of minutes. We're approaching a minute and a half left in the first quarter. Jack Tied ball game, 2-2. Two -two. With the ball. They're going to move the ball around slowly here. They got the shorty going down the alley. He's going to get a shot oh, here. A Great yes. goal. goal. What a goal by Alexander Lockers. Alexander Losher, what a goal. Mitty what from New goal. Jersey. Took the, shorty, took the shorty advantage down the alley, slipped under. A little, little shovel shot. Little shovel shot. But pretty. It worked. That might was have, pretty. Might have been an ugly transition, but you know. Made it happen. And SMU takes the lead. 3-2. Minute 17 left in the quarter. First lead of the game for the home team, or the good guys, if I like to call them that. Fans are going crazy. These guys are future SMU Mustangs. In the early days of their lacrosse careers, already repping the good guys. Wesley Manoli with his third faceoff in a row. Seems to have his. Uh, He's got his ducks in oh, a row today. Oh, number 33 on Texas and SMU. They're both named Wes. You know that is a saber metric that I love to hear. <laughs> wow. Wes and Wes. Love it. Oh, Jackson. Jacob Jackson. Going down the alley, moves it behind, looking for a step down, down the alley with the shorty. Good D. Oh, no angle. No there. angle shot. Big save from Declan. I got to say, Declan maybe has seven or eight saves in the first quarter. Uh, like I said early, don't want to get let a goalie get hot. It's going to stay hot all game long. Oh, Patrick that's a hospital pass. Back to him. Patrick from New York. Move the ball low. These LSMs Taking love to hold the ball. Oh, that's a tough. Oh, is that not a foul? Oh, fast break here from UT. They got a man coming in from the box. Maury Stein needs to be stopped right here. Great defense. Oh players. my oh, God! Wow. Goal. Well, that was some great Sheesh. teamwork with the Longhorns. With three Beautiful seconds left. Beautiful assist from Maury Stein right to Jacob Jackson, 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 who has had two out of two the three goals. goals today. Big Ten shot right there. Yeah. Like I said, don't want to let him get a step down shot. He is going to score. He's going to score. I'm just saying. Not much Declan can do there one on one. Declan rehearsing that shot back in his head. I want that one back. That's what he's saying. Uh, that's how committed he that's is. That's a tough one. I don't know if you want to see that one again. No instant replay there. Yeah. Shoot it. Let's go, Bobby. Oh, good save by the keeper. Oh, my God. <laughs> Whoa, you from respect that save? 20, no. Would you have made that save, Prescott? Probably not, no. 22 yards out, that's a little tough for me. <laughs> but that's the end of the first quarter. Tie ball game, 3-3. What you came for, you've been seeing so far. So how many of these players did you guys see in high school? Um, let's see. Gabe Galbraith, HP native. Oh, no way. Um, Jacob Jackson. Jesuit Dallas native. Uh, William Blair used to play. Don't see him anymore. Those are the only two names I know. What about you, Revis? What's up, dude? <laughs> Marks and I'm Titus's big brother. There we go. <laughs> One of the stars. Thanks for joining. Nice to have some family support here. D D3 star at Amherst. Oh, really? really? Yes. Wow. Great player. Great Very score. fast. Claims he ran a 4.2 one time. Wow. 
We're giving you some love. So, what do you think that SMU needs to do? To like more time on offensive possession. We need to be able to hold the ball and get opportunities to like on the goal. UT, I don't know how many shots they have on goal, but it's significantly more than SMU. Like that's a problem, especially given that like it's clear that SMU can run with this team. So that's all we got to do. Yeah, take but care of the ball in the middle it. of the field. There we go. That's A plus analyst right there. I love it. Yeah. And we're back. Start of the second quarter. Tie ball game 3-3. Three, three. Bobby Springer needs to break a... Bobby Springer will get his mojo. He'll start yeah. going. Lost three in a row, we believe. But, yeah, but he'll get it back. But maybe Wesley not. Wesley with... Oh, oh, big face off there. All right, all right. That was, that was good. Dry. They're all over it. Jacob Jackson. Lock him up. Yeah. Don't want to let him... You know, get a step down. Like I've said, he's the X factor. 3 3 game. Lived up to the hype so far. Texas dodging down the alley. Oh, Trickles Jackson in. Had it there. A good flare up from the backside. Great look off and dump from Jacob Jackson. Find the guy in the middle. And good goal. Just trick power on that shot. 4-3. Texas is up. Early goal. Nice wave for Bobby wants to, to get his game. mojo back here. He got the clamp. Help on the wings. SMU needs some. Bobby's he comes away with it. That's the advantage to the game right now. Yeah, it's all about it. Ground balls oh, and uh -oh. effort on ground balls. Uh -oh. oh, he beats him in. Looking for that near post. Bounces over. Good GB from Texas. Retains possession. They're going to slow it down up top. Get some subs in and go at it again. Number 19, Max Egan. Passes off to 4-5. Is no 4-1. Jack does. Eagle. Oh, we got brothers. Declan. Nice save by Declan. What a going save, Declan. Crease violation going the other way. Pop that with his chest. All right, Patrick can chest. Another Dallas legend just showed up. Carson Rainey, Carson what a beast. Rainey. Oh, flag down. Dante Douglas with the ball. So far, 0 for 2 on a man up. No. No. One for two. One for two. Yes. One for two. I want to take advantage of this. Draw out the defense. They got him moving. Good recovery from uh, from Texas. Well, Laughlin looking at what he's got. Oh! The middle. Oh, can't handle Good the pass. Little. We're going the other pass way. Pass in the middle. Great to see you, man. Good hustle here on the ride. Getting up the alley. Wow, just had a solo. California, getting them out of bounds. We needed that one. Great ride. Almost a spectacular effort there from the Texas pole to take it himself, but just barely stepped out. And SMU's going to have a few more seconds of this man up opportunity. Moving around. It is McGowan looking at what he's got. Oh, good luck. Tries to force it inside I a little bit passes. too aggressive. Oh. oh, kick it in. Wow. Oh. Little kick. <laughs> Chased out. Oh, good. Ref calls it. We love that little Texas kick ball. by Cole Clinton. I think that SMU. I agree. You know, they're trying to force it to the crease on their man up, and Texas knows after that first, uh, or I guess second goal from Jack Winters, they're not going to let that happen again. They need to draw him out of position. Throw the ball where, where the uh, slide comes yeah. from and then attack. Move it around. Get it to X. Driving down the alley. With Jack Egan. They're going to go here on the shorty down the alley. Oh, breaks the stick. Good save. Max Egan. Oh, brother wow, to brother Declan little thing good. there. Declan. Let's go, Max. Yogers. Settled attack. He needs to slow it down. Oh, Mike what a spin. Gorgeous. Oh, West Maloney. D taking it up. Oh. 
They wanted to look to go fast there. A little cheeky spin from Max Yogers. Great player. But uh, Rotation of middies in. Keeping some fresh legs on the field. Leishert going. Dumps it off oh, a little too Alexander close. Alexander with a good idea. Retaining it. Jack Winters behind. Good luck. Texas good look TB. Oh. They're going to go fast. Bit high. Oh, way too high. Had a good shot, though. Had some speed on it. Just didn't put it on target. Texas has to be out shooting the Stings by a good amount right now. Gosh, like 70%. Can slow it down. Texas very. You know, they know. Yeah. They, Texas has a lot of people that are comfortable holding the ball, drawing that defense out, waiting for the opportunity. Yeah. Shorty downs, gets a slide, needs a recovery. It around. Good check, but beats him to the middle. Great job at yeah, beating those. the shorties, getting yeah. to the middle, and finding a good shot. Yeah. Going for Mex here. They're ISOing a shorty behind. They're definitely looking to go here. SMU needs to be looking to send a slide early and recovering. Nothing's coming. No slide. Beats him. Oh, lucky for SMU. Ball's on the ground. Taking it up. Ref needs to blow the whistle fast there. Not sure what just happened there. Great defense by Max Joyzart, number 77 for the Mustangs. Captain, leads by example. Academic All-American and All-American. Dante Douglas Dante has a shorty, but they're going to move it around. Draw the shorty out. you got to draw a slide, dump it to where the slide came from. No one's back post. You know they're looking for that skip on the crease. See what Titus can do from the top. Titus wants to go here, but I would warn against yeah, it. Maybe. Three players made it happen. He was hungry for that one. They were forcing him left. He went left, and he shot it. Let me eat scored. my words real you quick. You could tell by the start of his drive. He was he was taking that one to the hoop. He was set on one thing, and that was getting a Gino, and he did it. Love to see I it. I forgot Titus how much McGowan. I love when you say that. Gino. I don't know. Probably not. No. He did. Oh, no. No way. No. Fogo. Did you make enough Reeves? He did not. <laughs> it's a word. Reeves made it up. I just stole it from him. I want to see a Phil plates at ground ball here. Bobby oh, Springer great from Bobby. Unsettled situation. Bobby Draws off the, slide. the momentum. Oh, whoa. whoa. A little aggressive. Great look, though. Great look. 4-4. Four, four, eight minutes left in the second. Bobby's just such a selfless It's those, It's that bent head. Yeah, missed you know? connection. Well, uh, flag like, down. Whoa. Texas going to get a man up opportunity. Two flags down. That was a hard hit. Oh, both no. sides of the field Okay, right hopefully now. he's okay. He is. Good. Good to see that. He's a little woozy. Horns. Has to get oh, some. Oh, no. Not our other West. Help coming out. Oh, man. I know. We had such a connection with him already. I know. The 33 West connection is now severed. So unfortunate. Hopefully he's okay. We're praying for him. Never want to see an injury happen, especially in a big game like this. But uh, back to the game. The what do you think is going to happen? The trainers. Yeah, we have the best trainers in town, so I'm sure Wes will be up and running in no time. Yeah, just give him a, a little shot of something, and he'll be back in the game. Can we get a, a goal prediction? Shot. Let's get a goal prediction here. Who's scoring? Right. I'm going to say the easy goal or choice would be Jacob Jackson. I was He's probably say the same. Well, we're just saying if they did score. Oh, if they did. If they score, I'm kind of thinking Maury Stein's all over that. Maury Stein. Yeah. That's a good guess. Yeah. We'll see what happens. We can make a gentlemanly bet on it. We're the stirring handshake up. Bet. They've had some nice connections all night. These refs are still figuring out Two top you know, scores. what's going on. Refs are notorious for... Making the game go longer Time than it out, should. Time out, SMU. They're going to talk Reeves, this one through. What's your goal prediction? Um, I'm thinking Jacob prediction? Jackson as well. Okay. Jacob Jackson, easy be easy guess. But I don't know. Declan might not let that be possible. Declan's playing on top of his head right now. Love to see it. 
my I'm pro- surprised this is a 4-4 four, four ball game. You surprised to see this close of a ball game? Yeah, I was expecting Texas to. So your guys senior year, who is who is winning these games? <laughs> Texas. <laughs> Texas. <laughs> What about these high school matchups? Roller. Who was taking the one for the, those? Uh, well, you know, it's hard to say. I usually would beat Reeves if we play them in high school. They beat us one time, though. Not it was one pretty important. Won. The only important time. Was no, the well, games we won. except y'all never won a like SBC championship. So should we do a quick Carson Rainey interview? Where is he? I told him he had to get on the mic at some point. He's a he's another Big Ten, uh, actually a, the Ohio State University Buckeye, played there for four years. So we'll get him on the mic. We're just going to get a lot of D1 players, and we're going to get them on the mic and tell them why the MCLA is better, where they you know chose wrong, all that good stuff. That's why I made the switch. Yeah, and if you haven't uh, you know hopped off the stream because you're so annoyed by us, you are still listening to Game on Sports Network presented by. Uh, Varsity Club Lacrosse. We're happy to have you join us online for a great game in Dallas, Texas. It's currently 4 4. Oh, Texas coming in hot with this Rip. ball movement. Declan, Declan says, says, says no. Save. Oh my gosh. Ground oh, ball, Texas. That's the recovery for Texas. Shot from deep. Whoa. Pipe save. Love Whoa. to see it. Pipes, love your pipes. Give them love. Moving the ball around. Oh, tough pass. And that's going out of bounds. Texas came out pretty hot there for a second. SMU wow. with a great stop, two man down. They're really going to have to work for this possession here. Yeah, this is going to be a Get tough as much clear. time off the clock as they can. Just you want, might want to go uh, opposite oh, side no. of the field All and right. just Whoa. toss it out, out of bounds. Already. I don't know if I would have done that. Woo! Good catch by the fan on the sideline. Uh, Jack Egan Texas taking is it in. Back on it. Uh, only one man down now. For SMU. Jackson at top. Moving the ball around. You Maurice know, they're looking Stein. for a deep shot. Here it is. Good save. Declan, Declan says no. Declan, Declan going deep. Whoa. Oh, right, right to the other team. The I clears, think, I think you know. I think we need to hold on to the ball for a little. And we got a whistle from the ref. We think it is uh, offsides call or not. Offsides on Texas is the signal. Zebras are going to get together and have a conversation. Love your singing, Prescott. Ah. <laughs> After discussion, UT ball. What? Jacob Jackson starting up top. I love this Jogers Jacob Jackson matchup. One of the best matchups you'll see in the entire LSA this year. Bigs going out. And you'll bigs. look at Max Jogers and say, "Where is that guy from?" And he's from South Lake, Texas. Built different. South Lake, Texas product by way of Malvern Prep in Philadelphia. Oh, Charlie ball down. D. He's going here. <clears throat> James Lestro. Pick D. up top. Wants to get to the middle. Good body. Oh, good rolls D. inside. Great D by Ethan Burnett. Great D, but, you know, you're giving up a, a roll back to the middle and a pretty e- easy shot. Mm. SMU wants to just stay up top. Oh, he Whoa, beats him. That was, a, oh, well, that was a Just ridiculous beat him with shot. his feet from X. Sterling great goal. Hup. Sterling Hup, great goal. Had a mismatch at X, just beat him. Now, Drew, why is that name circled on the stat sheet? It's top scorer. Nah, damn. Looks like it. Hey. Don't she did that. her research. What? 5 <laughs> 4. The number three team, Texas, is up. But they're getting what they're paid for. What do you think SMU needs to do? You know. And it, I think it stayed the same from the beginning of the game. They need, just need to take care of the ball on clears, and they need to be a little bit more aggressive on their GBs. Um, other than that, I think they've done a great job uh, keeping Texas at bay somewhat. I mean, five goals. SMU's in, shooting uh, percentage has got to be majority. over 50. 
I think so. I think that when they, it in the net. when they get their looks, they're, they're converting their shots. I think, you know, they may be forcing some passes through a bit too many sticks. Uh, but, you know, they, I guess they know what they want and they're going for it. Moving the ball around well here. Jack Winters, Winters going. Taking a look. Looks like they're hedging See, pretty Laughlin. early. Oh, sees a great good dump. Oh, uh, oh, good take by Will Laughlin. Great look. Nice Needs quick. to change planes on that shot. Went a little low to low, and goalie Lisa, was already there. Uh, Lisa didn't get intercepted. Oh, Jacob Jackson, Jackson going. Down the alley. When he gets the ball, you know, he's immediately thinking, I'm going, I'm going to the cage. And, you know, that's a scorer's mentality. Uh, Yoker's doing a good job. I think only two goals Jackson scored so far have been on uh, some, you know, great skip passes. So, you know, maybe don't slough off him too much when you're playing off ball. But other than that, his on ball, Yogers' on ball defense on Jackson has been uh, superb. Texas looking to go here on the shorty. BT twigs him, falls on the ground. We're going to get an infraction. Go into Mustang's Max ball. Jozart. Senior defender from Yardley, Pennsylvania. Wants to move the ball around. Dodd. Dodd. Dodd, great players. They're, they're built like that. Reeves, how do you guys not get tired as a two-way player, Mitty? Oh, oh great what a pass. Oh. Those two-way players are athletes, man. They got it. They got an unlimited motor, unlimited battery. Yeah, GBs here shot. once again. SMU hard. needs to get those one-time GBs. Really slacking on them, and that's where Texas is, you know, Capitalized taking advantage in the yeah. game. Easy ride. We got to get Not them on the half run there show. By the Mustangs. Oh, oh dumps wow. it. Oh, another missed one-time GB. That's got to be, you know, the number one point of emphasis in the halftime, uh, you know, huddle. And then, uh, I have to say, Philip Plank Tech has been a phenomenal presence on defense today, communicating with his team. That yeah. guy can be on the field the whole game. Senior leader. He'll last forever. He'll run forever. Oh, until he falls. Is that a pipe save or a, a Declan? Uh, you know, some of these defenders. Oh, great check Declan. there. White ball. Checking it right out of some of these, Sterling uh, stick. SMU defenders are a little sheepish with the ball in their cross. And uh, if I'm the coach, right. I'm. The possession was there. Oh, good luck. Oh, good luck. Great look. These passes just are not connecting. Yep. Ball's on the ground still. Want to ride? Good clear here. Oh, oh finds a man. Good save from. Oh, hey. SMU needs to take care of the ball better. Rut row. Jacob Jackson. Jacob Jackson on an no unsettled opportunity. On shooting through. Yeah. Shot right through the defender. I mean, I, defender, I blinked and it was gone. Little scared of that ball. That's some heat on it. It might have gone through Declan's stick. <laughs> Great shot. 6-4. Right. You I think that the defenders that are getting to the restraining line are backing down a little bit because they just want to dish it off to the offense. I mean, they've been playing long game. Right. I think, you know, like I said earlier, SMU just needs to take care of the ball, yeah. the, especially on clears. Declan's to. making a save, and he's forcing the ball, you know, up yeah. and out a little too fast. Settle it down. You know, you know that clearing is a disadvantage for you, so I'm, like the refs I'm sending called, a midi down. They called a hold there on the faceoff, it looks like. He's Time just out. trying to get it out of it's there. It's going to be Texas. Texas ball. Texas is going to want to. Kyle Hartzell meeting with his offense. Wow. They're so, still in this game. This is in no way a beatdown. It no. just comes down to the fundamentals. Yep. Passing, catching, keeping getting space. Between the boxes where the battle is won. Exactly. Protecting your stick. Reeves, you are a, you know, all state wing guy. If you are in that huddle right now with SMU, how are you getting them amped up to go harder on ground balls? You gotta be, be getting efficient. in everyone's face, you gotta be yelling. You gotta put your head down, go through the ground ball, pick it up. Don't be afraid of the burnt orange. 
That's good. <laughs> control the ball. Yeah, I mean, the game. Yeah, get them hyped up. That's the number three Texas. You got to be fired up. Get the guys ready to rock. Yeah, they just need to, you know, scoop down a little bit, run through the ball. They're being a little bit scared of the ball yeah. on GBs. Texas a little more uh, probably goes into the half and also thinks that they can play a lot better. I would agree. I think both teams have uh, a tremendous amount yeah. of, you know, stepping up that they could do. I think Texas. the ball's been on the ground a pretty big majority of the game. Yep. You know, that's part of MCLA. You know, you're going to get some sloppiness from times. But uh, just the MCLA whoa. Just, it's <laughs> Mr. Great Dodd right running up the Burnham. field. No, he's trying to trust Lincoln Texas Dodd. took that timeout, didn't uh, take advantage of it. Lincoln Dodd's a guy who's not scared. And he's got an attackman at X. Uh, oh, we've got that's a guy. midi, actually. Jacob yeah, he Jackson did play midi, but uh, now he's an attackman. Big guy. Lincoln Dodd. Gets run by. Oh, I like the confidence there with SMU, though. Not sure how it's their ball. No. They're going to have a little discussion here. And it shouldn't be the way it is. Yeah, right yeah that bounced off a Texas there we player. Go. Going the other way. Vacation there from the refs. I'm going to start from the back right alley. West Maloney moving the ball around. Will Laughlin. SMU wants this one. Keeping it behind, seeing all his options. Smooth it out. Looks to the middle. Oh, Earl Jack, oh the winner, God. Soldier! What an awesome play there. Look at that. Douglas hard dodging. Winners open. Beautiful. Jack Winners is a the crease. Yeah. Nice little dump inside. Cheeky finish, high to high. 6-5. Texas up. 41 seconds left in the first half. SMU what a responded. game. And Phil Playtex back on the wing. What a trooper. More than enough time for either team to put another. Bobby Springer. Springer with the control. Wants to move it. SMU might Quick call a timeout here, and it. they do. What a 31 seconds left. They want to get another one to go tied into the half. Texas, like I mentioned earlier, they have an ex-pro lacrosse coach. Probably played 10-plus years of starting defense in the MLL and PLL. So, you know, if there's anyone to tell you how to make a, uh, a last third pressure on SMU to get that tying goal before the end of the first. I mean, obviously the pressure's on. The Fogo himself to get the ball, but I have to say, Jack Rockefeller and Ethan Burnett have been great circle mates for him to play with. Definitely. The wing play, you know. Boxing out, popping open after the possession. I would agree. They're helping him out a lot. Definitely. Slow march back to the cage for the burn orange. They are slow motion walking. They kind of look like they're in a movie. You know, they're just... See if they can make this stand. You know, I think they're pretty confident in themselves. I also think SMU is pretty confident that they can get the tying goal, but we'll see. Like I said, rivalry games, you never know what to expect, even if one team is number three in the nation. Slow start here. Winner is walking it up from X, putting some moves on him. Wants it. 20 seconds left. Such a quick Finds low shirt, drops it. They're going to want to. Dante Douglas on the shorty. Nine. Beats him. Hi, oh, 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 tie ball game. All right. What a take. SMU, SMU great the possession. Energy, the speed. They're hyped up. Dante Get a camera Douglas. on that sideline. Sinners putting some skates on. A little drop pass up to low shirt. He recovers. Back to Dante Douglas. He takes him down the alley. High to high. Golazo. Tie Side ball line game. Is going crazy. Did you see the dance moves going on? Love to oh, see the energy. TikTok energy over there. Whoa. Springer wins it. Yeah. They got another chance. Bobby! Oh. Oh. I mean, can't do it all. And that's the end of the first half. Tie ball game 6-6 six, six here in Dallas, Texas. Wow. Your SMU Mustangs are tied with the number three Texas Longhorns here in Crum Family Stadium. What a first half. Wow. Uh, you know. Overall great lacrosse. Overall great, great lacrosse. Declan Massacre standing on his head. Texas getting a lot of shots. 
but Declan's warding them off. You know, uh, give me a player of the half for you, and then Reeves, you give me a player of the half. Drew, you first. Oh, Maury Stein, I think, has controlled and quarterbacked their offense really well. But then I'm such a Jack Winters fan, and Will Laughlin has really shown a lot of confidence on our offense. And yeah, I agree. Those are great picks. And yeah. Reeves? And I'm going to go with Max Jogers for the SMU Mustangs, the way he's able to pick up the ground balls, not be afraid, move it up the field, and command every clear. He's able to pass it to his, to his guys and get the ball in the Mustangs' possession. Yeah, and, and that for guy Texas, gets ground balls. For Texas, those are important. Who's your player of the game for Texas so far? Texas, I'll go with Jacob Jackson. Yeah, I'm, I'm liking his. Me, I gotta say, shots. Jacob Jackson definitely. You know, when he gets the ball on his stick, he's looking to go to goal, and he is very efficient when he does. Expecting um, nothing less. SMU. Definitely. I mean, offensively for SMU, you got to put Jack Winters in there too. Yep. I mean, what he has two goals or is that three? He's got three goals. Three goals. Uh, all cheeky, you know. Being a little rat on the insides, running around, losing his guy, and uh, you know just getting those nice goals. And uh, but Dodd Declan Masker, great a goal. A lot of the possessions, well completed a lot of those rides. But I think what this com- game comes down to is getting past the emotions and being confident and focusing on the execution and not pushing, yeah, um, not forcing it. That's an exactly opportunity. It. Yeah. All right. Well, uh, this halftime. You know, intermission is brought to you by Game On Sports Network and Varsity Club Lacrosse. Uh, thanks for joining us for the first half. We'll see you in a little bit. Bye. Bye.
You got them a good size? Yeah, yeah. Back. Here we go. We're, we're ready. Back yeah. In it. Sorry, we we got a little bit caught up, but uh, SMU's got the ball. <laughs> Jack Gordy with the ball. A freshman midfielder from Dallas, Texas. What high school? It doesn't say. Will Laughlin. See what SMU can do with their first possession. Out. You know the Longhorns have got to be nervous with this close of a score. They're expecting Will to down the alley. More on them. Whoa. Oh. Good save. Five hole, almost trickled wow. in. If that could have just trickled in a little more. Good take by Will Laughlin. Had the alley. UT clearing it. You know what I want to see? He's got more a man up. The SMU ride. Let's see if they're coming out better this half. UT is going to get a settled stick. possession. Don't want the ball. Jacob Jackson at the top. Here we go. UT just moving the ball around slowly. First possession of the second half. See what kind of look they, they want. You know, I would assume it's going to be Lincoln oh. Dodd. <laughs> Lincoln Dodd saying, 
Putting the hammer down. Wow. Oh, no save. No save. By Hugh Brown. Shot clock doesn't reset. But Declan stopped him. Yeah. Moving the ball around. Dodging down the middle. Goal. What? What happened? Wait, I think, yes. <laughs> Delayed reaction. Buffering. That was by Max Egan. UT goal. Can't let him get down, right down the middle. Yeah. Uh, unfortunately, you know, that's what they're going to try to do. Um, SMU shorties on defense need to get that in their minds. You know, force him down the alley. Stay up top, top side. Even if they're trying to roll back, let them go down the alley. They're diminishing their angle the further down they go. But, uh, you know, they keep rolling down and getting good middle of the uh, field shots. All right, Springer we'll getting see. ready. UT starting off fast here. They want to go. That ball. Brad Winningberg with the ball at the top. Must have been one hell of a halftime speech. They're up one Coach goal, Reeves. <laughs> Settling down. That's Egan. One of the Egan brothers. Reeves down over yeah, here. Yeah. Yeah, excuse me. Whenever Reeves decides to chime in, just yeah. tell him not to. I'm here now. Just right. tell him not to. I'm bought in. <laughs> one's going to want I, that I one back. I just don't understand how that got in there, but. You know, that's a rip from I Jacob Jackson up top. His players. <laughs> that's it, unfortunate. You're calling yeah. that. You think that deflected in? I kind of do. Maybe you need to check my eyes, Prescott, but that looked definitely that uh, went through like a solid seven player. Definitely one that Declan wants back. Yeah. He's going to, you know, just erase the mind, get back to it. A tough one. He couldn't even see it. Two quick goals to start the first or second half. And so. Uh, Springer. All right, Bobby goes on. Springer. Springer, big, big win. Got to do it himself. Offsides on the Where's Texas the offsides Longhorns, call? but no call. Interesting. Bobby Springer. Whoa, okay. that's okay. a big check in there. That's not allowed. All right, please be white. Oh, oh, oh. great that possession was shot. <laughs> that was crazy. And uh, SMU going to get another man up opportunity what first is that, of the one second for half. Three? One for three, yes. This is their fourth opportunity. Will Hansen did get that position, though. Yeah, great. An great. LSM sophomore from Atlanta, Georgia. Showing him us how the South does it. How about that? From Atlanta, Georgia. I'm guessing he went to, you know, Love It or Pace. That, those are my top All right, we're going to get a Titus Common McGowan. Titus yeah. McGowan goal here. SMU, you know, Laughlin. two down. This is a Little great opportunity to get one back. Titus. Rotate the defense. Whoa. Oh, little nice no-lick pass. Winners. Jack Winters. Oh, toss it up. It's okay. On, Possession Got shot. Chase. Resettle. Chase. No problem. Settle down. West Maloney. Got X. Move the ball. Right. Moving the ball around. Rotate back. Get that Moves wheel going. The ball so nicely. Oh. Had to check if he had that ball. Yes, he did. Step shot down. from deep. Whoa. What? 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 That was a changeup. I think it might have been deflected. <laughs> <Change> up. <laughs> I think his stick touched somebody. Maybe. It might have been deflected yeah. off fifty. Yeah. No, that was a changeup. Yeah. Okay, was it? Yeah, he, <laughs> he put just, some he put some spin on that the shot. New baseball. Yes, opening day, so you got to throw the changeup in there. <laughs> UT slowing it down. Sterling Hub. If the they ball. get one here, they're gonna play slow, or are they? You know, they might just want to rack it up. We have a drone flying over the field. Because we are that legit. That's mute or. Texas going down the alley. I bet they Super try to get back to the middle. So so. Oh, good uh, goal. Was that mom goal? That's oh, mom goal. Outside. Goal. And a flag. And a flag. Push. Outside. I think that was even a crease violation, but can't be a crease violation if it's a push, though. Unfortunately. Oh, was it just a little love tap? Yeah. Mm. Hate when that. Happens. It's a weight room type of thing. Um, UT is this their first man up? Mm, their second. 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 Up two. This is dangerous here. This isn't the spot the Mustangs wanted to be in right after that half. Yeah, t slow start. Yeah, you know. Half just came at a tough time. High momentum. Exactly. You know, two goal lead is the most dangerous in lacrosse, though. Yeah. Take care oh, of the ball here. Beautiful interception by Will Hansen. 
Show for the ball. Yo give it to Jogers. All right, let's go, Max. Now Take go Max. up right. and look at one oh, five. Lincoln, he, he's going to put his head down. Lincoln he's Don. running. Just he's trust running. your feet. Now show oh, to him. A lot of orange Give him help. Everywhere somehow. Somebody help it. Oh my god. Good right on that guy. Challenge. Wow. Oh, Laughlin saving this, saving wow. this ball. Wow, that was incredible. I thought that was deflected. Did, did the? Never mind. Wesley carrying SMU the ball. possession West here. Bologna. Down to one le west left. Back winners. Oh, I love when he has the ball. About half the time left on the shot clock. Forty seconds. Winners that is at X. He's dodging. Looking to feed here. Moves it. Ball's up top. Feller with Got the ball. him down the alley. Moves it to X. A little low. Throws it out of bounds. Tough shot. Tough look. Jack Just Winters only catches so the tough ones. To Didn't catch that one. Right. Deep shot. Oh, with nice. the, another Good ride. For Fight for that. Rhett Davenport Good GB from, from Texas. Texas. They're all oh, over him today. And like, on Longhorn's head. Carried in ground balls this game. Down the alley. Brett Beats Whittinger. the shorty. Shot nice save. save. Oh, almost get, trickled in, but. Declan. There we go. Let's Moving go the ball back. up. Yogurt's going to take it himself. These. Uh, SMU attack really need to show up the field a lot better oh, on the oh, ride. Good ride. Good goal. Oh. Brett Slanch. Freshman Mitty from Palm Beach, Florida. Look at that. SMU attack making, taking Whoa. it. <laughs> what? AI's, drone. AI's taking over. The drone. They're going to take all these cameraman's jobs. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, look. Look at I that. love how Brett waited till we he got had the we got the drone on the patient. camera right now. That's what we're talking about. We think it's a spy of uh, it's an A and M spy probably. <laughs> <laughs> it's George <All> right. Bush. <laughs> George Bush is watching from the library. Good battle here, off the face off. Springer, Springer, with the come up. Run away, find. Whoa, Bobby. Okay, wrong way. Oh Good look. Go down for him. Ooh. Oh, Max. Move Great it. handle by Max. Now winners come out. Okay. Hey. There we go. Good show. Thank you, coach. Good settling. I'm just saying I think Back the attackmen need to show up the field to help out these middies on, on the, the on right the clear side. a little bit more. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, we needed that one. Lift. Oh, recovered by Maury Stein right on that. Um, I don't know where this is He pushed them off sides, I believe. Okay, well, that was, that's the right idea. And you can't Jack do that Marty. in 2024. We are doing. That's how freshmen from Dallas do it, though. Oh, yeah. Looks like they might no be picking up the flag here. They're just giving the ball to Texas. Skeen wants an answer. Hands up. What's going on, refs? What are you doing? Explain to me. Explain to me what happened. Daniel well, Stegler. he was pushed over, and then he did this, and he accidentally threw the flag, and that's what happened. We made a mistake, like always. Thanks a lot, Zebras. Who's flying that oh, drone? Everybody seems to be a little confused about what this call is, and Reeves is just wondering. Reeves, uh, his Adderall obviously already worn off. <laughs> Prescribed, by the way. Yes. Always, always. That's how it is at SMU. 